All right, good morning, YouTubers, Facebookers, everybody is. Yes, I share my videos on both social media platforms. I'm going to play you this Peter Lafarge tune. Peter Lafarge is a great Native American songwriter who had a close relationship with Johnny Cash, and Johnny Cash recorded quite a few songs um, by Peter Lafarge on his um, 1964 album, Bitter Tears, Ballads of the American Indian. And I just actually got... I actually finished reading this book, if I can zoom in on it, written by Antonio D'Ambrosio, pronouncing it correctly, which pretty much details um, Cash's relationship with Peter Lafarge, Peter Lafarge's um, life in itself, um, all 34 years of it before, you know, passing away at the age of 34 in 1965. Um, the Native American plight other includes other Native American songwriters such as Buffy St. Marie. And, um, well, Cash recorded this one in 1964, like I said. Garnered a lot of censorship. The DJs didn't want to play it. And, well, eventually, with Cash's own money, literally, Cash's own cash, and backing, he sent out a... Full page ad on the August 22nd, 1964 issue of Billboard magazine. Pretty much cornering DJs, calling them gutless for not wanting to play anything from the album. And, well, I guess you'd have to read the book. It's it's a whole long story, and I'm kind of rambling on right now. This, the album did go on to great success, and this single that I'm, well, the song I'm about to sing, released as a single from the album. One of Cash's biggest hits on the country charts. I think it topped out at number three. And, well, we dedicate this one to Mr. Cash, Mr. Lafarge, and the man who this song is about. Ira Hayes, Ira Hayes, call him drunken Ira Hayes. He won't answer anymore, not the whiskey-drinking Indian. Or the marine that went to war Gather round me people There's a story I will tell About a brave young Indian That we should remember well From the land of the Pima Indian A proud and noble band Who farmed the Phoenix Valley Down in Arizona land Down the ditches a thousand years, the water grew Irish people's crops, till the white man came and stole their water rights, and the sparkling water stopped. Now Ira's folks were hungry, and their land grew crops of weeds, and when war came, Ira volunteered and forgot the white man's greed. Call him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian, or the Marine that went to war. There they battled up Iwo Jima Hill, 250 men, but only 27 lived to walk back down again. And when the fight was over, and when old glory raised, one of the men who held it high was the Indian, Ira Hayes. Ira Hayes returned a hero, celebrated throughout the land. He was wined and speeched and honored. Everybody shook his hand. But he was just a Pima Indian. No water, no home, no chance. At home, nobody cared what Ira had done. And when did the Indians dance? Then Iris started drinking hard. Jail was off in his home. They let him raise the flag and lower it, like you'd throw a dog a bone. He died drunk early one morning in the land he had fought to save. Two inches of water in a lonely ditch was a grave for Ira Hayes. Call him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian, or the Marine that went to war. Yeah, call him drunken Ira Hayes, 
when his land is just as dry, and his ghost is lying thirsty in the ditch where Ira died.